Hello again, everyone. Welcome to another Transformers review. This is Graham, also known as a Collector Seventy Five. Um, right. Um, for today's review, I thought I'd do another one of the movie toys, well, the original movie toys, anyway, from nineteen eighty six. And I thought I'd do uh, Generation One Wreckgar. Now then, here is his box. Um, this was another one I actually bought um, about nineteen ninety five ish. Maybe somewhere around then, and I think it cost me about 30 quid. Um, I got it from a guy in Shepherd, and, and the, it had never been opened or nothing, and um, I was pretty chuffed with this. Um, yeah, I've got the bubble insert and everything down there and everything like that, but I just want to show off the box. It's actually in very, very good condition. Um, there is the back of the box, it's got a nice little scene with Metroplex and um, what's his face? Trypticon up in the corner there. Um, really, really good. I love that. Right, I'm going to put that down there. I'm going to bring on the figure himself. Here he is in his nice motorbike. This is one of the first um, Transformers motorbikes, I believe, probably along with Groove, really. Um, and he looks much like Psykill out of the GoBots, because um, of course back then trying to engineer a um, motorcycle transform was actually quite hard, I believe. Um, as in to see you know what they could do with it and everything. It's not actually these days they can do it very, very really good. Um, you look at some of the later ones that come out. Um, his wheels will spin and everything. This leaves him on his arms uh, pretty naturally quite stiff. There we go, stay out there. And he's got nice little rubber tyres and everything. Um, he looks very, very good. Um, I used to have this in, on display up in my loft, actually, so I used to have a bit of a display out there about, I don't know, 10 years ago, maybe just over. Um, and I used to have the laser rod um, Electro sitting on him and riding him because he just fit on him so perfectly and he could hold on to the handlebars. His legs would go sort of down here like that. Absolutely brilliant. And um, yeah, he just fit on him absolutely brilliantly. There we go. Yeah, so he's really good. Um, I wish actually they had made some of the other junkions. Because um, I heard they were going to, but obviously no, they never did. Then you could have just sat one on the top there riding. And then you could have just took him off like in the film where one fell off and then transformed the motorbike and the motorbike would transform and get on the other guy and ride off. I thought I loved that. When I saw that in, when in the cinema when I was a kid, I, actually, ah, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Anyway, right, now then, to transform this guy. Um, I haven't transformed this guy for a few years, and um, if I forget, then it's my own fault. But I thought it'd be more fun to uh, do it. <laughs> See if I can remember how to do it anyway. Right, we're going to start by disconnecting the legs, and we just move them down like this. Uh, they are on funny sort of hinge joints. I'm never actually sure why they were like that, um, but they are. Right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to disconnect this wheel. Um, how do we get this wheel out of there? We're just going to push it around. There we go. There probably is a better way of doing it than I've just tried. But there, it does sort of flip out to the side. Right, and then we straighten up the legs. We're going to put them down into there, like that. And there's his legs. Right, now then, what's next? We're going to separate the fists. There's probably a different way of bloody doing this, but I'm going to separate the little wheel, just put it down there for the minute. We're going to flip this down and into place, I hope. I think. Anyway, these arms rotate outwards like that. That's going to come down to there. That is just going to flip in there like that. Nice chrome detailing on that. I don't know if that is metal, but it certainly feels heavy. But I think it's just plastic, but who knows. But this bit is definitely die cast metal. Really good. Right, now then, we take the motorcycle windscreen and we flip this down into place. But I think, before we do that, we're supposed to reveal the robot head. There we are. There's Retgar's head in there. And there's his little arms. And then we put them like that. Like that. And that is Retgar in robot mode. Um, he looks a little funny. But, you know, it's a motorcycle transformer back in 1986 or 1987, roughly. Probably 1986, really. And this is probably the best they could do with the uh, technology at the time. But he's still really good. Right, you can also get the uh, little front wheel and then we can put that in his hand as a shield. Or whatever you want to do with it. Um, I've got his weapons here somewhere. There we are, down there. Oh, I forgot to even take him out of the little bag. Here we go, so we're in here. There we go. So we open up the little bag. And he's got this nice little gun. You go in his hand like that. And he's got his little axe. Now then we can take the wheel out. There we go. And it will fit into the hole in the little axe. Like that, creating some sort of strange little weapon. 
that can go in his hand as well. Either as a shield or... I don't know, it looks like a pizza cutter to me. I don't know. Anyway. Well, there we go. That is Rick Gar. Um, he's quite a good transformer. You can usually find him on eBay quite cheaply. Um, but obviously a boxed one will go up in price. I don't think this guy's been reissued or will be reissued. I don't know. But then again, who knows? He may be reissued. Um, yeah, he's definitely one that you'd probably want to add to your collection because he was a movie fan favourite. He was voiced by Eric Idle, I believe. Now then, we're going to do a size comparison. Here he is with uh, Revenge of the Fallen. Um, sideways, isn't it? There we go. And um, Retgar is actually taller than him. So yeah, so he would have been probably a Voyager type toy. Who knows, really? But he's still good. You can see his little engine there glinting in the light. Oh, I really like that. Right. There we go. I'm going to put a little sideways down before he falls over. Um, and this has been Graham, also known as the Collector 75. I hope you like this review. And um, I'll see you all next time.